name is Rachel Brill. I'm an actress. That advice of um, being a good person, just be nice, do your job, be respectful, that really resonated with me. I am Joya. Yes, Joya, and what, did, what do you do? I'm an actor, writer, producer. I loved hearing what each person had to say about what one takeaway, one thing they learned from their work uh, behind the scenes. It's amazing to see how close people seem. Sometimes it can feel a little isolating and fun to see everyone be so close. Carol and Mecca. How important the union was. Stella Burr. I loved everything that was said. I think the last statement that um, I'm left with is literally the last statement of just to always continue learning. My name is Lizzie Rice. I took away that uh, people on technical sides of things are extremely collaborative and, and often by uh, trying to volunteer for one thing or getting involved in one way you can learn about something else and so you sort of in a multifaceted way can learn a lot of uh, different skills by just getting involved. My name is Paula Cohen. I'm with um, the Theatrical Wardrobe Union Local 764 IATSE. The uh, most interesting, thoughtful thing I took away is to be open to everything and to come out of your own individual little um, task and see the bigger picture. Sandra M. Bloom. The fact that every single one of the panelists works in multiple areas of the business. And I thought I was unique in that, but it, it seems to be the trend that this is what you need to do. My name is Fern. What's your last name? Jones. I love what the woman said about keep learning. I thought, well, this is what this is. It really is. You keep learning, you keep opening to new things. So that was, and everyone was a, a, a different incarnation of, you know, of that idea to me. Okay. That they, you could see, they talked about where they started from, but you see that they had blossomed into something very different. So they, they really illustrated what that means. So what did you take away from this evening? I just took away from this, uh, this non-traditional role that women are, are being introduced. They have been around, but it's getting a better situation for them. And that just to be open to plenty of opportunities that may come. Okay, and what is, what is your discipline? Um, I'm actually an electrical worker for Transport oh. Workers Union, yes. So I'm also in a non-traditional, that's how I got invited here. What is your name? Brianna. Brianna, what's your last name? Stuart. Okay, what did you take away from this evening? Um, just to take away all the opportunities that are presented to you and have an open mind. All right. And you're an art student? Yeah. Wonderful. Where do you go to school? Um, Sleepy Hollow High School. Judy Binus. And uh, what do you do, Judy? I'm a retired stage manager and an, an assistant director. That things may be a lot better for women than they were when I started. Judy Tallman. I do hair and makeup. So many great points about not giving up and being open to a lot of different opportunities. Hi, I'm Yana Landau. That women are incredible, but we knew that already. Don't let your voice and your doubt hold you back from what you want to do. Jane Dubin. Well, I was the moderator of the evening, and um, uh, that there are some amazing women in the business and uh, amazing people. I don't want to pigeonhole them in by gender. These amazing professionals in the business that are um, so willing to share their history, their um, their stories, and help other people um, smooth their path to uh, to where they might want to be. Kelly, Neely, very interesting. Okay. Thanks, learning experience. Okay. They had a lot of information. Okay, and what do you do in the business? A little bit of everything. From wardrobe to lighting to oh, props. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of everything. All right. Erica Payne. I'm a stagehand. I do pretty much every department, everything from rigging to wardrobe. There's a lot of women out here, and we really all need to get to know each other a lot better. At Addis. I think the most important thing is people behind the scenes, because they keep us glued together. Yes. And the fact that there are more women coming into that field, I think is 
most important and we should encourage them the most we can. Jessica Parks, I'm a scenic designer. That there is a lot to know and there is a lot to learn. Um, theater is my love, my life, my soul, and um, just to keep on going it. May Frankie Berger, I'm a stage manager and um, I also am in um, local 632 IOTC. I took away um, a lot of great uh, messages and um, and being around really strong women um, and seeing how they succeed and how they came up, um, like like uh, people to kind of, to look up to, um, and a really positive energy around. Um, things that we still need to strive for in our industry and that we need to band together and that like positivity can um, we can help each other out in that way instead of trying to break each other down. Debbie Slevin, I'm a writer. A huge amount of vitality, like a really fresh energy uh, in, amongst the league members, the people who are here, and that there are women who are working so wonderfully in the theater world with all the efforts for parity. We kind of saw that on stage. My name is Jenny Lynn Vader. I loved hearing the description by the lighting designer about uh, about lighting design. She said it was like painting without having to worry about the canvas. And I loved that. I also found it very interesting when she spoke about the, the gaps in unionization. I did not know that television lighting designers are not unionized. Lorca Paris. I'm a theater director and former board member and former co-president of the League of Professional Theater Women. I got to meet seven fabulous women that I'd never met before and I learned a lot about each individual's uh, industry and I also learned about how to get into IATSE and some other unions. Oh, yep. My name is Julie Sylvester. I'm a producer and a general manager and I think we have a lot of young, hip, up-and-coming professionals that are women that I'm really excited about. Melanie Sutherland. I'm a stage director and event producer. I found it inspiring. It was really, really special to hear about the backstage stories, the energy, how they got where they were, a lot of them sort of by accident. It was fun. My name is Mary Lynn Henry. I thought this evening was very special because I took away with me parts of the lives of these wonderfully working women in the theater, behind the scenes, the designers, stagehands, costume people, makeup people. I mean, it was so fabulous to hear their stories about what it took for them on their journey to get where they are today. And you know, I, I was thrilled with the whole thing. My name is Kristen Essen. I take away that uh, women need to support each other, and more than that, they need to join a union. Martha Steckety. I'm a dramaturg and a critic. Great quote from Eileen. Gather the women around you.